Ed. Kumbaya, my lord. Fun. Kumbaya. Woo! A microphone. A little obsession. And Lala Hirayama. It's time to get closer to the stars with Mnet Movies and La La Land. We are still in the mother city for Silver Scatter Fears. Four days of awesome African cinema, plus tons of feature films worth talking about. So, let's do it. Alexander. Congratulations, first and foremost. I mean, you have a very successful novel, which has now been turned into a movie. Did you ever in your wildest dreams think when you were writing that book that it would one day become a movie? Never, not for one second. To me, it felt impossible. I never thought about it. Where did the storyline come from? In actual fact, this story is not about autism. I chose autism as a tool to get to those people being pushed aside. I could have chosen alcoholism, many things. Frau Dorfling, kom ons begin weer by die begin. Was jylle een gelukkige gesin? Andre, thank you so much for joining us here on La La Land. Where did the idea turn from book to movie? I mean, what was the journey? It's always very difficult to, to take it from a book to a script because once you read the entire book, you go, I cannot cut anything from this book. Besides that, what else were the challenges that you faced making the film? Um, they say never work with kids or with animals <laughs> on set. I work with both. both. <laughs> What do you want people to feel or take away with them after seeing the film? Respect. Respect not for me or for the book or for the movie as such. Respect for those people in society that don't have it easy all the time. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. It is the premiere of Rysselton. Dion, congratulations on your film. What's your feeling right now? Excited okay, and nervous and you know those general kind of feelings that you feel. So tell us more about the film though. Yeah. When you first received the script, what was going through your head? I, I absolutely love it. I think it's an important story. Um, I love the fact that it's a South African story with no political agenda, no social. It's just a family and how they are affected. Mr. Lotz. When you received the script for the first time, what were your what were your first thoughts? When you read the script and you kind of there's a lot of depth to it. It's based on on something real and it's you know it really has to grab you. So I was excited to be involved and to be asked to be involved. Yes. Amelia, tell us about the journey of first receiving you know the the script and then bringing it to life. I read the script and I just wanted to do this film. I saw an opportunity as a director of photography to put a female touch and with a different view uh, to portray this extreme serious, serious film. It's serious. It is so cool to have you on La La Land. What was it like being part of the film? For me, it was very fun. Tell us more about your experience. Like, what was it like on set? Was it difficult? It was a little bit difficult. Uh -huh. Everybody was nice, and I couldn't have done it without them. What do you want people to take away after seeing this film? Hopefully people will understand better and don't think that kids are necessarily naughty because you don't know what's wrong with that child. Look, let me put it to you this way. I don't know. You come and see the movie and you take away what you need. Better be see dag break. Better be see so. Next time on La La Land. Visit Mnet.tv and see what else Lala has been up to and a whole lot more to keep you a little obsessed.